and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Katie Valise, and I am back with another Dollar Tree haul. Today, I'm gonna do things a little different. I am gonna flip around my camera because as you can see, this is a mess, okay? But yeah, you guys, I found so many good things and I'm excited to share with you guys. But if you guys are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and don't go anywhere. Let's go ahead and jump right into this haul. So I'm gonna be starting off my haul with these hair accessories that I found at the Dollar Tree, you guys. Look at these claw clips. Aren't they so beautiful? Look at that beautiful pink and green color. And then I really like the gold detail on these. Um, they are pretty small. I would say about an inch. Then I found these cute snap clips. Really like the pastel colors on here and how thick these are. I would say these are about two inches long. And then I found this cute scrunchie, you guys. It is just different from your usual cheetah print color. So I picked this up, just thought it was really cute for fall. Next, you guys, I was able to find some really cute notebooks. It's been a while since I've gotten my hands on some notebooks. So this one here says very busy, and then this one says yay. Um, But really like the colors, and then I really like how it has like this glare effect on here. Super cute. Be sure to get your hands on these, you guys. You guys, I was able to find this makeup brush drying rack at the Dollar Tree, you guys. Um, this holds two large brushes, four medium brushes, and eight small brushes. So this is how the stand looks. So yeah, I thought this was pretty neat. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and set it up for you guys to see how it looks. So here is the storage rack put together you guys it was really easy to assemble it came with three pieces and it kind of just snapped together um i went ahead and put three brushes on here just to demonstrate you know how it looks and stuff but you guys it was really easy to put together and i'm pretty sure it will be easy to take apart so you can put it away for storage so when I went into the Dollar Tree, you guys, they had Christmas stuff. Like, what the hey? Christmas in September. Oh my goodness. But anyways, I was able to find this hand soap dispenser. It does already have soap in here, but I will most likely switch it out for a different soap that I prefer. But just thought it would be cute, you know, to place in your kitchen or even in your bathroom. Next, I got my hands on these Lock Stars by Hasbro. You guys, definitely a good find in the toy section. If you are to scan these in the Walmart app, um, you will see that these probably range for like $5 to $6. I'm not sure on the price point, but thought these would be really cute, you know, just to save for Christmas. And yeah, you can just put them on your shoes, it looks like, and your backpack. So definitely a good find. Hopefully you guys are able to find these for your kiddos. So another good find I was able to find in the toy section were these Lost Kitties, again by the Hasbro brand. Um, it does say 36 to collect in 2018, so that's probably why they made their way into the Dollar Tree, but you guys still good gifties for Christmas and stocking stuffers. You guys, it's that time of the year again where we put on our socks and get rid of the sandals. Dollar Tree is definitely coming out with some cute socks this year. Look at these fluffy socks, you guys. This is by the brand Snugadoo. Is that what you say? Snugadoo? Yes, it is. Um, but really liked these ones. They are super soft. And then I grabbed these for the girls. It comes with a two-pack. Super cute, you guys. Get your sockies at the Dalla Hala. Next, I found some more Freeman Beauty masks. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through these really quickly. So this one is a cleansing clay mask in charcoal. This one here is hydrating cream mask in honey. And then I found this moisturizing hydrogel mask in the coconut milk. Have not used this one, so I'm excited to use that. And you guys, this was pretty neat to me. A two pack um, of face mask. So this one here comes with the charcoal gel mask and then this one has a neon vibes clay mask i thought this was just really neat um for you know a christmas gift just throw it in somebody's gift bag like there you go girl and then i came across this brightening overnight mask i have purchased this before in a container like this you guys it burned my face i'm gonna be honest with you guys it burned my face so I took it off, but my daughter likes using these, so definitely picked up more. You guys, this was on my wish list. This cute mat for Halloween. 
super cute. It says trick or treat and it has a really cute pumpkin and some bats on here. You guys, these are super thin, just an FYI, but you know, I'm not using it to put in front of my door, kind of just more of decor to put outside on my porch next to a bench. But yes, you guys, just an FYI, they have different selections. If you do follow me on IG, you will see that I had posted different ones that they had. So be on the lookout, you guys. These are a great find for Halloween. So the next item that I found for Halloween was this cute jar. It says Death by Candy. Really small, about like maybe four to five inches tall, but super cute, you guys, for just $1. Yes, you guys, I found some more Kiss Brand nail polishes in these four different colors here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys very quickly the colors. Really pretty. I'm always excited when I find more Kiss Brand nail polish. I just think it's a really good find when you go to Dollar Tree. So be on the lookout. Next, I found these household items, um, more like decor pieces, but this one here is a trinket box. It was kind of giving me that like Saved by the Bell vibes. And then this one here is a cute little picture frame. Look at you guys. So cute. Got that from Mariah so she can put a picture of Charles in there. And then I found this really cute jar, really tiny. It's probably about three inches tall. Thought it would be really cute, you know, to put like um, on a three tier tray, decorate for Valentine's Day. But yeah, you guys, these are the things that I found. You guys, the last products I am gonna be sharing with you guys are the Flower Beauty products. I came across more lipsticks and some nail polish. Um, the two nail polishes that I was able to find is this like yellow creamy tone and this one is in the NP2. And then the next nail polish is in the NP4. This one is a pink tone and then I was able to find all these five lipsticks here. I'm going to go ahead and open them up and swatch them on my wrist for you guys to see how they look and how creamy they are or even if they're dry. But let's go ahead and do this right now. You guys, the amount of time that it took to open up these lipsticks is insane. I had to have Mariah help me. We had to get some box cutters. It was just a lot of time, okay? But we are here and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these up for you. So here are the ones I am gonna be swatching for you. This one is a Flamingo Flower in LS9. And then I have LB7 Sheer Snapdragon. I have LB1 Petal to the Metal. And then LS12 Sweet Peony. And then LB3 Rose E Future. Okay, so I am sharing the swatches with you guys in my car because I had to bring my daughter to her dance class. There she is over there already making you friends. But I already forgot the order that I swatched for you guys. So I am going to go ahead and list the names in order on the screen. But to me... These um, lipsticks were more like a gloss type. Look at how wet they are. I think only the first one, which I think was the Flamingo one, is like matte. But the rest are just shiny and glossy. So yeah, you guys, there you have it. And that concludes my haul for today, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed some of these products and I hope you guys are able to find them on your next trip to the Dollar Tree. If you guys are new and have not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I will go ahead and see you guys next time. Bye.